And more developing news now. Police are investigating a double murder in Hemet. They say the victims are a man and his 12-year-old son. Their bodies were found inside a home in the 400 block of Winthrop Drive. Investigators were also at a second crime scene at Simpson Road and Shady Lane in Hemet. KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Tom Waite joins us live with the latest. Tom. And Sylvia, these horrific murders unfolded in the home just behind me. A family member says she is the one that found the bodies on the second floor in a bathroom. It was inside this house where a family member says she found the bodies of her big brother and his 12-year-old son stabbed multiple times. Dion Boyd and Dion Jr. were pronounced dead at the scene. It's scary. It's scary. You never think this stuff happens around here. The murders unfolded here on the 400 block of Winthrop last night. Police stayed at the scene overnight and into the afternoon, pulling out potential evidence and other items that could explain how this happened. Investigators say the attack was not random. A big break in the case came here, 14 miles from the crime scene late this morning. An alert Hemet police officer saw this car and thought the driver was acting suspiciously. He ran the plates. Turns out the car was registered to the home of the homicide scene. The car was reported missing this morning. The man driving it lives in the house in question and was the suspect officers were looking for. This used to be a little, little town, you know, I mean, it used to be a nice little place. But now it's all changing now. 44-year-old Boyd says her brother was a loving man who cared deeply for his son. The family has just begun the grieving process. As for the suspect, the family says he has a history of mental issues. And right now, motive is still a big question. The suspect, police say his name is Qualique Walton, and police have said he is a relative of the victims. They are not saying how he's related, but family here tells us that he is the stepson of the 44-year-old man who was killed. Reporting live in Hemet, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.